Welcome to the art vlog with me, George Doverbead. Today with the Royal Academy on Piccadilly to get a last minute uh, review of Late Constable, a show which is on until the 13th of February. And what's really exciting is that we are joined by Art Vlog Royalty. For the first time since the pandemic, PJ Arthur is with me and um, she is going to be sharing her thoughts on this show. Hi guys, hi. Um, this is a bit like our theatre of dreams, isn't it, PJ? Because um, who have we seen in the environs of, um, of the Royal Academy over the years? Well, I think you remember Will Young, uh, surely, and who could forget Debbie Harry? Oh yeah, goodness me, Debbie, Debbie Harry in Fantastic Pig just across the road. Well, from Debbie Harry to Constable, join us as we go inside and see this show, which has got some amazing reviews. It's on until, I say, the 13th of February, so if you, if you want to come and see it, hot foot here quick, tickets are still available. Wow, well we just come out of Lake Constable at the Royal Academy and um, it's been a mesmerising show I have to say. Um, the vibe was, well it was a small show, intimate show, with three galleries, um, which hopefully you've you, you just seen, and, and um, some absolutely spectacular um, works. Um, this show kind of picks up after Constable painted his most famous picture or painting, The Hayway. That was in 1821 and this show, although it has a couple of very small works from before that, the first major work is The Leaping Horse from 1825. Um, so we're looking really at the last 10, 12, 13, 14 years of his life. Um, and the vibe was very, very beautiful. I'm really liking these smaller shows. We went to see um, Poussin and the Dance before um, before Christmas, and I think with these old masters, it is the way to go. What did you think, PJ, about the vibe of the show, first of all? Um, I thought the vibe was fantastic, and I, I know what you're saying about um, intimacy, uh, George. I didn't know much about um, Constable before I went in there, um, but reading all the stuff there about how um, the tragedy of his life, losing his uh, wife, um, impacted on his work um, was, was really interesting. You could really tell um, the impact that had made um, on him. So I, I, thought it was, I thought it was fantastic. The vibe was really um, a bit sad actually in places, um, but, but, but really, really great. I definitely agree with that. There was a melancholy, wasn't there, to his later works, and that obviously came out of his life, um, his, his, his life tragedy. In terms of the art itself, um, this was a mixture of, of spectacular um, works on oil work, oil, oil cam on canvas, and also some smaller works. And the middle gallery had some works on paper as well. And I'm just going to show you some of my highlights and talk through those now. Leaping Horse starts the show with a bang. This is Pete Constable, an artist at the height of his powers. Just look at how the horse and rider are dwarfed by the brooding sky. Unbelievable to think that this painting failed to sell. I was very much taken by Constable's studies of the sea. These first three paintings are from a productive visit to Brighton and give a good um, feeling for the show, the mixture of, of, of large and small pieces. But my favourite and one of my favourite in the show was this seascape study with rain clouds, pos positively impressionistic in its delivery. Just look at that. Um, I mean, it's just a wonderful piece and uh, I really enjoyed it, usually found in the V&A. As befitting an experienced artist who's finally getting the recognition he deserves, there are iconic English landscapes like this one of Hadley Castle and this one of Netley Abbey at Moon Moonlight, as well as works um, showing Stonehenge and Arundel Castle. 
real highlight for me was work I'd never seen before with my own eyes, um, entitled Farmhouse on the River Stour. This piece was loaned from the Phillips collection. It returns to a landscape Constable was very familiar with and painted for his entire life. Just look at how modern this painting, created in the 1830s, seems. It's positively impressionistic. Duncan Phillips, who along with his wife Marjorie um, founded the Phillips Collection, said that Constable was the founder of modern landscape. Paying tribute to the painter's direct engagement with nature, Phillips said, never until his time had so much pure nature been set forth in art. He showed that the sun shines where that the wind blows, that the water wets, that the clouds are living, that grass is not brown mud, that air and light are everywhere. And I couldn't think of a greater tribute to one of our greater artists, our greatest artists than that. Um, Constable along with Turner were ahead of their time. And I sometimes think that in British art, we undersell their revolutionary nature. This show definitely puts that right. So overall, and would we, myself and PJ, recommend this show? Well, it's £17 to get in. Um, PJ is a uh, Royal Academy member, so luckily we got in um, for nothing. But um, it is £17, so um, bear that in mind it, it, for a small show. Um, but I really did uh, recommend it. Would you, would you recommend it, PJ? I'd highly recommend it, um, actually. I love the scenes of um, uh, England, and it made me really want the spring and the summer to come. So bring it on spring and summer, that's what it made me think about. And it made me want to jump in my kayak because I saw lots of boats on rivers, um, and so I'm well up for that. That really um, inspired me. I thought it was beautiful, so definitely. Oh, that's brilliant, and I agree. I really recommend that you hot foot it down here until the 13th of February, because um, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see these late works together. The Royal Academy actually said this is the first time there's ever been an exhibition focused on Lake Constable, and there are works from America, from the world-famous British... Um, Art Centre at Yale, there's a work from Washington, as well as from other places in the UK. Yes, it's quite a London-based exhibition with works from Tate, Royal Academy, etc. But one of the really special things, I think, as well, I don't know if you agree, PJ, was that although it wasn't in this actual building, loads of these works were actually displayed at the Royal Academy. It is amazing to think that they're all together in, in, in the same place. And like you said, looking at where they were all donated from, I think it's a real chance uh, to see uh, Constable at his best at that period. Yeah, and, and, and I really agree with PJ that there was something incredibly beautifully English about these works. All the skies were stormy. There wasn't any blue skies because we very rarely have them in, in, in Britain, even, even in the summer. And some iconic um, obvious venues from Arundel Cathedral through to Stonehenge. So overall, I mean, I think we would both give this a 9 out of 10. And the only reason I'm not giving it a 10, I don't know if you agree, PJ, is just because it was a bit small for the price. I think it could have been more like 12, 13 pounds. But then that is the Royal Academy for you. It's a private institution, so it's not state funded and it has to, has to fund itself. Would you agree with that? Is that a fair verdict? Um, yeah, I would say I would say nine out of ten, but mine's mainly because it's not David Hockney. Right? <laughs> David Hockney always gets a ten from me, so it's bound to be a nine. There you go, so Constable, one of our great old masters. Not quite David Hockney, but I'm sure he'll be back in London soon. Um, do, as I say, make sure you get down. I've checked on the website, and there are loads of tickets available. And one last thing, um, we are here on a Friday night, rather excitingly, and we've already partaken in our first post-art aperitif, in, in the sense of a, a glass of Estrella each. And um, this is open late, it's open till nine. Now, I did check on the website and not every Friday is open till nine, but some are. So if you want some Friday night art, come on down. Don't forget to subscribe to the art vlog and click on the, the notification bell for future uploads. Um, and stay safe in the meantime, come down to Constable until the 13th of February.